Hello everyone and welcome back to Austin Talks where today I am talking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse the um, uh, film that's coming out next week uh, <coughs> oh jeez a film that's coming out next week um, that I think a lot of us are anticipating uh, especially due to the last one and uh, yeah there's not much to say other than just to get right into it um, just to let you all know, there will be a review uh, kind of, uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy coming out tomorrow, so please stay, uh, do stay tuned for that. And uh, next week we'll have Fast X. We'll have a Fast X review, and I know I didn't do a uh, uh, like predictions, but like say for Little Mermaid, The Elementals, and um, the Indiana Jones, I won't do like predictions. I'll just do like uh, like reviews on those movies. So just to let you know. Um, so let's just get right into it. Thank you. Now, when does it take place? Now, this is slightly irrelevant to the actual storyline. It doesn't really matter when it takes place. Um, but it, it, just to just to let you all know, it does. T- um, it will take place in present day, but obviously because you're going across the multiverse, like there's not much time to measure as like time and the multiverse don't really cooperate and if, but if i were to guess when like the when this is probably mainly set timeline wise is probably 2099 um and obviously 2099 is where we'll get like miguel o'hara which is the uh, spider-man 2099 and for those who don't know like that's an actual comic the, um strip um, right there, that's uh, some of the characters, and I just want to break it down for a bit. Like, it's in the back, you have Ghost Rider with a chainsaw for a hand, like that's cool. And uh, then you have, um, what do you call it, Hulk going Super Saiyan. Daredevil doesn't really look like he's changed. Um, other people I can't really see. I think that's Gambit in the le- on the left. And then there's Punisher next to uh, Spider Man 99, but like. To think how much they evolve, it's, it is cool. And then Doctor Doom looking as menacing as always. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, the Spider-Verse storyline. I mean, there's some creative ideas, but this is this is one of the whole... Or this, this, this universe is on a whole nother level because it shows how good it is. The storyline is the best animated idea, both Marvel and DC related. Like, the animated Mar- uh, DC products are really good. Considering the animated ideas that uh, DC are coming out with, like uh, Creature Commandos, let's just hope that they live up to this standard. Cause, like, this animated level is uncanny. And I also want to know which is your favourite Spider-Man. So there's, there's quite a few. And, uh, yeah, we have the Amazing Spider-Man, Iron Spider, the regular Mars Brown. There's so many. Um... And uh, yeah, obviously we'll see a lot of them in this movie as well, which is quite exciting as well. Who is Spider Man twenty ninety nine? Now in twenty ninety nine in the twenty ninety nine universe, Miguel O'Hara is the person who gains the who gains the powers of Spider Man. That's not person. Mm-hmm. And this version is taking his spider spider duties to the next level. In this movie, however, it seems to have changed. presence of spider-man i believe and altered this but in uh but in miles's uh timeline shows a change in which frustrates miguel uh yeah but miguel look is like a vampire dracula like a lot he he has no, he's like the spider-man bat like uh he's like the batman it, like if batman were Yeah, and a lot of people actually didn't. I'm so. A lot of people. Like, like if if I was to name like, go Spider Man, Mars Morales, and then him. I mean, not even. But hey, fam. Thank you took a while who is the villain now whilst as this movie will contain really really 
Okay, this could take a while. What is going on here? Oh my days. Right, now whilst this contain multiple villains, the main is the main villain is the sp In the trailers it looks like he is an interventional defense that I think is really that uh, I th I think I think it, this is really fitting the storyline. Also, this is an underrated, extremely unknown character. Um, and I'm actually glad they're doing this. Further, if, and then further to this, I am actually excited to see what they have in mind for this character arc. I do, I like, there's a shot where it's like, um, it's inverted, uh, him, where he has white spots, and I think that's when he'll actually gain all of his power. But in the, which is when, I think, like, when he's in the shop, I do think that's when we'll actually, uh, like, fully, like, see him and all that, because he can't. A really good thing, and the only reason I actually know who the spot is, because I was given a spine, like, a uh, multiple story Spider-Man book when I was younger, and one of the characters, like, Spider-Man went up against was the spot, and. So I'm actually glad they're still uh, like heading that. Now, as you probably saw, all the Spider-Man appearances. Now these are just a few. Now, so I should say the Spider-Man appearances. These are just a few in this movie, and I'm not gonna list uh, like all of them. But this is just a picture of who, like who will see seen in recent trailers so Jack Jessica Drew who is to the far right um is this version Spider-Woman and I actually like her uh, like her character especially uh, oh this is no problem <laughs> I yeah yeah for those who don't know she is pregnant in this movie as well now in the middle we have Spider-Punk who is going to be uh mad in this I think she's just gonna be webbing around like be funny if like like plays the guitar and it spits webs. That would be hilarious. Now, Spider Man India uh, on the bottom left. Now, I'm actually really excited to see in the clips we we were revealed of this character are actually priceless. And um, Spider Bite, Spider Bite in the uh, looks actually really interesting. And if you look at her Funko Pop. Um, that obviously this she fights against futuristic villains, and I, I actually do, I wonder who put, um, like a t who uh, Spider Man India fights against. I do wonder, and Spider Punk really. I could just imagine Kingpin running his own band, and that would just be ah, we can't be having someone else running a band. And yeah, I mean, Jessica Drew's basically just female Spider Man and futuristic. Like, yeah, you all have different components, but I really do wonder. Thank God I did it that time. Now, the rules of the Spider Man. Miles is coming is a coming of age Spider Man version, and as all of these Spider Man and woman have witnessed, all they need to warn him and teach him how to get through and he obviously is a teen and but in typical teenage fashion he will think differently hence the main conflict in the movie obviously he tries to see him, he says it were uh, not worth saving uh, saving one life um, and and not the other and also if you can not see in the mo in the trailer uh, no not in the trailer in the um pictures Sp uh, spider-man ps4 is appearing in this and obviously we've had uh, just spider-man 2 uh, trailers with Craven and uh, a lizard that looks mental. I cannot wait to play that game, and I will be showcasing on Austin Talks, and I still and I will be doing some Midnight Suns uh, stuff as well recently because my game has been locked out of me. Just thought I'd uh, say that. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so that that's what reflected. Uh, uh, and the scene where it goes every Spider Man, and then everyone's just looking through. And it looks just like it's the funniest scene, and the way that they're pointing at each other. That it was the best clip ever. Oh, come on! Oh.
Never mind, it did it. Right, the new suit. <laughs> in this movie, we have changed. We have changed suits from the last run. From recent TV spots, I think there uh, may be a slight change in Gwen's suit, but not much for her. Uh, but we have seen a definite change for Miles. Oh jeez, I'm really tired, and I think it is great compared to the last us. Um, and also considering how much he has grown since the last few movie, a few movies should be the last movie peter parker has changed obviously with his baby um and his suit uh, and his suit still likes looks like the good old classic and i do like miles's character mark especially how they've done it in this movie um obviously there's different storylines and interpretations uh but i do actually prefer this one than the others and uh yeah wait a minute Jesus, that just takes forever. Now, why are people annoyed at uh, Miles? As I have previously said, Miles will more than likely be a bit stubborn in this movie, but I also don't think that there will be a main issue. That will be the main issue. In Miles's timeline, he has not experienced his Uncle Ben uh, moment yet, so this timeline is slightly different, and this may just aggravate a uh, Miguel O'Hara, so he'd be like, "I'm gonna go and kill you." Not, not, it's not out of jealousy, it's like Miles is refusing for that to just be his timeline, um, and he, uh, that's why, um, uh, that, yeah, that's, that's why, um, he'll be a bit different, and, uh, uh like, he'll obviously try and save, uh, Spot, because I think Spot may have, like, a, uh, thing, thing in here, in this movie, like Miguel O'Hara will be like the main conflict, but he that he'll also have to deal with the spot, which will probably go into a big, big. Why oh, am I yawning so much? Right, we'll go into a big, big um like conflict uh, with all three of them. So yeah, and obviously this will lead to Spider-Man Beyond the Spider Verse. Gee, did it instantly that time. Now the runtime record. As an animated movie, this is a movie that uh, that is 146, uh, 40, no, 136 minutes, uh, roughly 140, meaning this movie will be the longest animated movie ever, and I believe the correct record broken is the longest major animated movie. This is a major animated adult here. This beats the animated adaption of The Lord of the Rings and many more, and I'm actually delighted by this. This Marvel movie must prevail. <gasps> Like we, we, Lord of the Rings, yeah, they're masterpieces, but we must have, uh, uh, we must have this, we must have Spider Man or someone representing the A Team, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Um and um, yes, I do. Uh, uh, I do think this is well deserved, and I mean, yes, well, the thing is, it's not a fact, it's not an award, but still. And it'll probably be, it won't be a case of a drag movie. It will be a movie that's like, like hard hitting, like Infinity War, hence why they have to do a second movie. So like, yeah, I do think it's uh, well deserved. Now, here we go again, Funko advertisement. Um, I mean, whilst, whilst the marketing for this movie has been mental, not just man, it has been mental. The Funko Pops alone did probably half of that. Um, before like any trailers or things came out, these were revealed. This is also where we got many of the teasers for the movie. This uh, now, yes, this is a minor factor, everyone. This is a minor factor, but the point of the point I'm trying to make is that like advertisement for Funko Pops alone can do it all. I mean, Spider Man India. I don't mean to be rude. I genuinely thought that was a girl. Um, yeah. Uh, but I'm actually yeah, I do prefer the um, the ones we've been given in the trailer. That was absolutely great. And Spider Punk looked like he was actually he looks like a villain. And then Spider Bite yeah it looks a bit different. But like I imagine we'll get more uh, like leaks throughout that and all that. Uh, it, uh, more like context from the comparison to from this to the actual movie. And then Miles just looks like typical Miles Spider Gwen not much change Miguel O'Hara um I, I know that's a mask and all but it still looks terrifying and then 
And this is also how we knew we were getting a new suit for Miles with this whole um, metallic look. And then Jessica Drew, that, I really want that Funko Pop. I really do. It looks really good. It's just like, I have a baby kicking me, but I will kill you. Or hit you, or whatever. Still looks cool. Now, Medieval Vulture. Following what I just said about Funko Pops, when this was teased in one of the uh, one of them, and I, I just need it, it just shows how creative this franchise is. Whilst Vulture is a pretty weird concept as a character, it is a great, uh, it is great how they made a medieval version of him. And I would like to see what other characters come from this Earth or universe, and what uh, char- like what Spider Man comes from this Earth. This it is funny, and I didn't know he was Italian. But like my guy, he look, he still looks like he's menacing and ever because Vulture. You have to remember, Vulture is technically not a uh, like he doesn't have serums in him or anything. This is like, but this is on a whole nother level, mate. This is this is I'm going to I have to make my wings and then I have to use aerodynamics for this. <laughs> I mean. This guy's on a whole nother level, and I do actually like it. And uh, I'm waiting for the spot Funko Pop to come out because that's like they're, 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 they've got the little keychain, but they don't actually have the Funko Pop out yet, unless it's really rare. So uh, yeah, that's good to know. Now, will there be other villains? Now, from the last movie, we know that the, the that this universe likes to make villains with a twist, much like Lady Octopus and Spanish Scorpion, as we ha- and also we have just seen with medieval Italian Vulture. Uh, the only question is, will there be more? The most anticipated character would be Mr. Negative and Rhino, because there's actually, um, how I know this is, there's a stat thing online. And there are both characters that we are anticipating and hope we get them. I would like to see a different version of uh, Rhino, where like Rhino is like um, I don't know, like a different color. I mean, we saw that with uh, the game, uh, Mr. Negative. <laughs> don't know how he would change. I would say he's a good guy, but like inverted colors, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. How would I want him to change? Uh, yeah, he could be different colors, or just like Mr. Gryphon and Mr. Negative in one. Like you could get up that. And then you could have like this, uh, and you could have Rhino, but with an actual Rhino. No, no, we did that. I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. The lack of leaks. Now this video will be uh, like less of um, like compared to others because of this. The lack of leaks. The since this movie has been like has had TV spots and all, and like the sc- with screening, surprisingly there has been very very few leaks. Even with the clips they're revealing, I mean, it's basically repeating what we've already seen in trailers. And I think that this is for the best. But also, and the re- the reason for it is, Marvel products are now reinforcing media to the point where they're trying to see leaks in a near po- impossible uh, way so like if we like i can't even i i, I know a friend who likes to like look at uh their post credit scene and i actually understand that like if you, you don't spoil the movie but if you want to see a post credit scene what's annoying of the post credit scene is actually fake uh, and actually relates to the uh that's why i don't do it but like they don't they don't even show that anymore you can't even see it so like it shows how much of like how far they're going for this and i do really appreciate it so i uh, yeah good on marvel now the potential effects of spider-man no way home now i've thought long and hard about this and i've had a possible headache from it but I actually think that this event that happened in Spider-Man No Way Home may have had something to do with it. This was all teased in the recent trailer as we were told about Doctor Strange and, Spider-Man th- and the Spider-Man thing on Earth 999999 by Spider-Man 2099. That should be 99. And there are links there, but uh, guys, so here, yeah, but there is this thing, like, guys, so it could be true. It very much could be true, and um, yeah, like if we we could see a Doctor Strange. I'd like to see a cartoon version of Doctor Strange. I mean, yeah, we had what if, but still, and also like people are anticipating that like we get like an MCU No Way Home uh, animated, and then like 
uh, the Amazing Spider Man and then from the Rainy Universe. It, like obviously that is anticipated, but like the fact that this has had been teased and is literally been openly said by a character means it could have a potential effect or possibly related to meaning every universe is connected. Thank God for that. Now, links to the Sony uh, Spider-Verse. Now, with the most recent Craven trailer le uh, leak close to the release of this, um, there is a speculation that the universe links to this uh, one as well because of the same, uh, what do you call it, universe. Because uh, of the same uh, like people running it. Um, technically, it would be possible to reveal these characters in this movie, but I think and I, I think it would be cool. But I am honestly gonna say that I'm thinking this is wrong, and also th this is just wishful thinking. And if we're like we'll go as far as to say for the Spider Man No Way Home, but I don't think we'll have this. Like we could have like a little link to Morbius or Venom, but like I don't think I mean. Yeah, Craven could be if the Craven trailer leak could be a coincidence, but I highly doubt it is. Um, but um, yeah, obviously you can think what you want. To be fair, now what may happen in Spider-Man Beyond the Universe, Spider-Verse even? This movie is well anticipated. Um, it's actually like ranked one of the most anticipated movies of 2024, and especially with the hype of this whole storyline, not just like this movie, but the, and depending on this movie's ending and more, this is a great possibility, and that this hype will movie will increase for sure. Now, following this storyline and the trilogy does not have a lot of potential, so Sony, do not mess it up. Like you have so you have so much potential for this. You've done good with one movie. Do good with another one. Do not mess this movie up, and just try and get three in a row. Venom, meh. But let there be carnage and absolute disgrace to society. I mean, the animation's great. The storyline awful. Um, Morbius, get a life. It was just like please Sony do something. <gasps> Like, Sony, please do not mess it up. I, please, just don't mess this up. And if you want, yeah, do bring the Venom in, but, like, still. Fan theories? Is this the usual animation? Yep, nailed it. Now, at the end of the movie, there's a speculation that the spot will break the multiverse, meaning that Spider-Man will have to bring it back into one multiverse. And this will mean mu they must go beyond the multiverse. This also ties into the plotline of Spider-Man No Way Home. Can't you wait? Wait, what? So it also ties into the plotline of... Um, oh, I'm hoping you mean like the characters that were in the air? I'm gonna hope that what that's what that means. Okay. Um, in this movie, we have talked about Earth 999 and... And confirmed that Doctor Strange exists as he may be the cause of this. This He may be confronted by Spider-Man 99. Meaning there is a possibility that Doctor Strange could make an appearance in this movie. No. I know for a fact he will not appear in this movie. Because then the, uh, there will be a lot of hate with people saying, Oh, Doctor Strange is appearing in too many uh, Spider-Man movies. I know for a fact that's what people do if they do do it. And I highly doubt they will. Uh, like spot Marvel are a bit smarter than that. Now, the spot in this movie will be a broken character who can't control his powers and he seeks help and he is offered help by Miles. Okay, I'm with you so far. Also, Spot will find out that the other Spider-Men do not like this, so they will try and stop him. This will lead to the Spot being the main villain along with the others. Kind of a given, but I, I think you're saying like he'll be the main uh, reason why we'll go to broken, uh, like uh, beyond the universe. I'm hoping that's all you're saying, or that will just does not make sense. Um, these are weird ones, honestly. These are oh, these are weird. Um, but I will if I had to rank them, I would say number three is number one. Number two is number one and then number three is number two so the doctor strange appearance is number three broken uh universe with uh, by the spot will be number one and then obviously uh back into the universe so yeah yeah wait hang on hang on a minute 
the is that number one and number three are kind of similar but i just noticed that okay anyway right well that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed um everyone i honestly think you're gonna love this uh uh like uh review for tomorrow and i'm actually really excited for this movie i'm gonna go and see it straight away and i'm gonna give you a review right back and if there's a post credit scene guess what i'm gonna do a separate video um because i actually noticed there was a uh, there's a good balance between post credit scene and uh and man in the boss review so i'm gonna continue to do that also um with cat oh, okay that's my funko pops right with this whole Jonathan Majors thing, I will do a video on it uh, if, I, if I can try. But uh, for those who don't know, I have exams next week. So trying to upload may be a bit difficult. Uh, so, uh, yeah, well, obviously, I'll try and I'll try as hard as I can. But just all let you know, disclaimer. Right, everyone, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.